Yeah, Coach, it seems like uh, last year it was Khalid Duke kind of really elevating his play and kind of rising to the surface. And from talking to other coaches and players, it seems like this year that's Felix Anadike in, in your position group. Just how much has he really taken off and where has been the improvement? Where has it lied? Um, uh, Felix has, has had a good spring so far. Um, I think he just was uh, – he's a young guy, obviously, mm -hmm. young player. So his um, – let me put it, he just, his, his, just his, his technique, his knowledge of the game. Um, he's always been a, a kid that played real hard. He works extremely hard. And so that hadn't been an issue. Um, but I think he's just really improved the knowledge of the game, his technique. Uh, he still has a ways to go, but I think that's been his biggest, biggest uh, improvement has been just the knowledge of, of how to play the game. <laughs> Yeah, and I know you're, you're, you've lost White Hubert. It's kind of the, the star power in, in your room. But does it feel like your room could be at least a little deeper in terms of how many guys you can throw on the field this year? I do. You know, White has been a good player here for us for a long time. Um, but now that he's not in the room anymore, some other guys has have an opportunity to step up. And they have. They have. Uh, uh, Spencer Trussell's probably had the best spring of, of all my defensive ends um, to date. And he's he's playing uh, really fast. Uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence. Um, he's understanding our scheme. Uh, so I'm really proud of him. Uh, 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 Bronson Massey is back, you know, for his sixth year, um, for that extra year, which is really brings, brings a lot of experience to our group. And so we're happy with that. Um, and then you have, um, you know, still Khalid, you still have Khalid in, in the group. Um, you got Kamari back, you know, you got uh, Brendan Mott is, is making some strides. Uh, Nate Matlack is really, he's probably between Spencer, Felix, and Nate uh, have made the, the biggest improvements. It, it really excited about, about those three guys. And for Nate, because I was going to ask about him anyway, was it kind of him filling out his frame? Because I know he came in pretty thin. Yeah, Nate's still thin, but he's he's bigger than what he what he was. Uh, um, and Nate is is an extremely intelligent football player. Uh, uh, he's very coachable. Uh, he works extremely hard. I mean, he has all the intangibles that you look for uh, in, in a in a football player. And so, uh, man, I'm, I'm just excited to, to, to see him continue to develop. Um, and he, is, he has got a chance to be really, really good uh, here at Kansas State. Thanks, Coach. John? Yeah, buddy, is Nate somebody that can have a, a legitimate role for you guys this year, you think? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Um, Nate is, is really uh, improved on his pass rush. Obviously, he's gotten bigger and stronger. Um, so he's playing uh, the run a whole lot better than he did, you know, his, his freshman year. Uh, so he's definitely in the mix uh, in some, in, to do some things for us, whether it's in a, in a pass rush situation or whether it's, whether it's in a, a every down situation. He's really making a, a bid for uh, to get uh, a lot of playing time this year. Where is Khalid right now in, in his development? Where have you seen him come along the most? Well, Khalid, oh, last year, you know, Khalid made a big jump last year, and, he, and, and he's continuing to, to grow uh, as far as um, just technique, uh, playing with, with lower pad level, um, those type of things. You know, obviously, his, his, the thing he does best is rush the quarterback. You know, and so he's, he's continued to work on that. But I guess to answer your question, it would be in the run game. Is it kind of daunting to think about as a defensive line having to replace not only Wyatt, but, but Drew Wiley, too, and what those guys gave you last year? No doubt. You know, they, they, a lot of experience, a very talented, both of them very talented football players, a lot of production uh, between the two of them. Um, leadership was, was, out, was outstanding. Um, you know, because they they you know they've been in the room a long time, so uh, other kids looked up to them. So you know, losing that was big, um, but we're excited. I know, I know, as a coaching staff, we're excited about the uh, about those younger guys coming on, and and now they're starting to their personality is starting to come out a little bit, and uh, it's exciting to see. 
Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks. That's coach. Good to see you. Um, you only have two defensive ends on the field typically at a time, unless it's a you know pass rush package or something. But how are you going to balance all these guys that that apparently are proving that they can get on the field for you? Them, as you and I both know, uh, competition makes everybody better. So that's going to really, in my opinion, that's going to just help that room continue to get better and better. Um, obviously, um, you know, we got, got to be careful. Some some guys can play a, more plays without getting tired. Uh, some guys get tired a little faster. So I got to make sure that that when they're out there, that they're fresh and that they can can give us great effort. Because that's what we're going to pride ourselves on this year is, is giving uh, maximum effort on every play. And, uh, hey, we got enough guys that, hey, if you get a little tired, you know, just let us know. We'll get somebody else in there. So that's – we're going to do it by, by committee, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, and th these guys will, will know their role. You know, we're still developing those roles right now as we go through spring ball and through the summer and into fall camp. We'll we'll continue uh, to develop everybody's role. And um, and, and uh, you know, obviously, the more the merrier, in my opinion, because I just I love to see a lot of guys. I love to play a lot of the guys, period. And the more I can play, uh, I think the better we'll be. You mentioned that competition factor. Is it? Just so obvious, these guys, they can't take a playoff. They can't loaf. They, they've got to show every time they have an opportunity. I think, and I think that's, that's happening uh, with a, at a lot of positions, but especially at defensive end. Um, hey, if you want, if you want more snaps, then you gonna have to show me that you got to earn those snaps. And we're, we're not, we're not going, we're, we're not going to let anybody uh, slack on the field. We want to make sure everybody's running to the ball. Everybody's giving their best on every play. Um, we're playing for each other. Uh, and and I, that's what I like about my group. I think that they really like each other. They really, they're really playing for each other. And it's, it's a fun room, very fun room. I have to admit, I'm kind of excited to see what you put out there on third and long situations. Is it, I mean, even if you can put four ends on the field, I mean, is it hard to pick who would be in the, that so-called jet package? Yeah, right now, right, right now it is. I mean, there's a lot of guys that, that are, are fighting for those positions. Um, you know, we don't have a, a dominant guy like Wyatt at that yeah. position, but I do think that we have um, – a bunch of guys, you know, more. We got three or four guys, even five guys that we can go to that can give us some production at, at some time. At least uh, we are, we're hoping that's the case. And in and, and the spring so far has been, you know, it's been good to see. It's been good to see. Thanks, Coach. If, if you need some, hate to get some advice on how to put weight on, I'm your guy. I'm good at that. <laughs> All right. Last one here, Derek. Yeah, Coach, if I'm recalling correctly, I think you're one of the few guys that already knew Coach True before he got to Manhattan. Just uh, what's what was your interactions been like before that, and how has he embraced and fit into your program? Yeah, I knew True. I worked with True uh, when I was coaching at SMU. He was the the uh, he was the head strength coach there. Um, the one thing you, I mean, what you learn really fast about True is what you see is what you get. I mean, he's, he's not going, I mean, it's only one way with him and that's straight. There's no, there's no left or right is one way. And, uh, he's a law. He's very loyal. Um, he believes a lot in culture. The culture of your program is established in the weight room and, uh, whatever coach climbing, uh, sets that culture to be, that's the way it's going to be in that weight room. And, and our players, uh, I think are really excited about that. Initially, probably a little scared. I was, I was afraid and a little apprehensive. Whoa. But I think they're buying into it and they're really enjoying uh, uh, the, the, how hard they're working and, and, and just the discipline part uh, that we need for this football program. Uh, that, that's one of the big things that we've, we've identified as being something that we need to improve. And so I think that starts in that weight room. And I think True is, is, is doing a really good job um, when it comes to that.